Booths.com is in Cape Canaveral, Florida today, sea trialing hall number one of the new foil cat. And we're here with Todd Meyer, the builder and developer of this whole concept. And we just want you to tell us, Todd, about what gave you the impetus to create a foil assist catamaran. So about, I, I've been in the boat business and running boats for 20 years. Um, and a lot of those years were on chase boats and tenders and stuff like that. And then in 2013, I met Pete Melvin from Morelli Melvin Design. And I went out on one of his big catamarans, his 45 foot catamaran. And really quickly, I was like, this is, this is the future, at least for me. The boat hit all the marks that I wanted. Um, Pete and I stayed in touch, and then I decided I was sort of turning 40, time to do something for myself. And I, I took the knowledge I had, reached out to Pete and his firm, and we developed uh, a smaller version of this, a 24-footer. And in development, we discussed putting a foil on it to really take that catamaran ride and take it to the next level. Morelli Melvin's really instrumental in pushing those limits. Um, that boat performed phenomenally, beat all our expectations, and then it was a natural progression to just go bigger, um, get it a little more fine-tuned, um, and I felt the market could really use something different, uh, and that's how I got here. Yeah. But foiling has become it's so ubiquitous right correct. now, especially in sailing. Correct. But to take this foil assist Yep. and move it into what has also become very popular now are the fishing catamarans. Yep. But then you found another use for this right beyond just fishing. Well, we use it, uh, we have a couple customers who are yacht, they're using it for yacht tenders. We've done work with the military for some of their special forces teams because one of the benefits of the foil is really reduces back fatigue. Um, you know, I call it fatigue in the military, they call it injuries. Um, so they can spend eight hours a day, 12 hours a day running a boat and really mitigate their, their spinal injuries. Um, and that's a really nice side, you know, side benefit. Boat gets about 40% more efficiency with the foil than without. So that leads to an increased range, um, lower fuel costs, you can run on less power. Um, so there are a whole plethora of benefits, but it's really the ride um, that really sets the boat apart. The foil, the way we have it set up, it takes about 40% of the wetted surface out of the equation. And that's forward of where we're standing. So it doesn't have, it, it eliminates the tendencies of catamarans that bow steer, which is part of the, or one of the uh, aspects that is uncomfortable to people. Um, we've designed the foil to induce some inward lean. So catamarans tend to lean out in turns or really flat. We've worked really hard to, to have it so it rolls in. But by getting the boat out of the water, you're not feeling all the chop. You know, if you're in a big seaway, it's gonna handle like a big catamaran. But if you're in any sort of chop, you can almost eliminate that from your equation. So a two foot chop, you can run eight hours, 10 hours, and it, it feels like you're floating. Well, this felt like it gripped in the turns yep. and there was really no bounce. Right. There was no sneezing right. as they yep. call it. Correct. Um, so uh, again, it's a side product of the, of the foil is the efficiency is running horizontal through the water, um, but it also acts as a pie plate sort of for your heave, for your up and down. So a shock uh, or a dampener. So because you have this resistance in the vertical plane, it doesn't go up so high. So consequently, it doesn't come down so low. And it slows that pendulum out, that, that constant you know, boat heaving out of the water, coming back down, slamming it. It just slows all that down. So the highs are less high, the lows are less low, and the, and the, the period between them is dampened as well. So overall, it really gives you almost all benefit with no downside. And you also, uh, we saw the fuel efficiencies. Correct. So the foil is helping that in just balancing out how much of the boat is in the water. Correct, by reducing that 40% wetted surface, that's sort of your magic number. You know, maybe you're getting 41%, but so running, you know, low 30s, we're getting two miles a gallon, you know, um, and that's upwind, downwind, we're, we're pretty happy there. Um, as we get into the 40 mile an hour range, we're, you know, 1.6 is our combined MPG. So we're, we're really pretty far above uh, a non-foiling boat. Um, and I certainly think a lot of other manufacturers are gonna start just putting the foils on, retrofitting them. Well, but, fuel costs the way they are right yeah, now, exactly. every gallon exactly. counts, so. Yeah, and then if you're fishing, it's also the range. Right. So we carry 400 gallons of fuel and, you know, we're comfortably 600 mile range and that's working the boat hard. You know, and if we throttle back a little and run in 30s, we're 700 mile range. So really, you can get out to the fishing grounds, get back, 
you know, with no concerns. Run to the Bahamas, you know, use the boat for a week, come back, you're still on the same U.S. fuel, which I think is a nice plus for people. Um, it's an all epoxy boat. It's epoxy infused. You know, we're one of the few builders doing that. Um, it's a bit more expensive with epoxy, but it yields a stronger, lighter product. And with trying to get the efficiency, you know, all the weight helps. Well, it's been great fun to be yeah, aboard home number made one. It. Yeah. And uh, we can't say enough about the ride of this boat and the innovation that uh, that you're bringing to the cat market. And, and we're happy to show it to people, even if you're you know, not necessarily looking for a boat, but you want to just go out for a ride to sort of see what it's about, call us, because we're happy to do that. You know, the so, more people who experience the foil, the better. It's win-win it's for everybody. So it's Foil Cat here in Cape Canaveral, Florida. And stay tuned to Boats.com for more information coming up soon. Thanks for joining us.